What's going on, everybody? This is JVB from TalkingAboutGames.com and the Post Game Report Podcast. And here I have the PlayStation Vita version of Madden 13. Earlier, you saw that I was trying to select my team by using the screen, the touch screen. That didn't work. You got to use the actual physical buttons. I'm a Giants fan. I accidentally picked the New England Patriots. Later, I'll have to take care of that. Now, the demo gives you two minutes per quarter. Somewhat enough to test out everything as far as gameplay. But I preferred more. On the home console version, you get five minutes. A lot of people play five minute quarters anyway. So you get the feel of a full game. Now, I'm going to say right off the bat that this feels exactly like Madden 12 on the home consoles. Then there goes call your own shots where you can use a touch screen. Unfortunately, you can't read that. But it's a nifty little trick. I couldn't get used to it because as I stated, you only get two minute quarters. So that really doesn't give you time to mess with all the features unless you go specifically into these features and test them out and forget about the game itself. So as I stated, the character models themselves look a lot like Madden 12 on the home console. And it's really impressive. I was expecting a higher res PSP port. And you didn't get that, so that's good. This is a demo, so I'm hoping that they do touch up certain things, such as the field. Little things that I'm nitpicking. But the biggest thing, and you'll see it here, is the lag that you'll see during the before the snap. As players are motioning, getting into the huddle, anything that shows the entire field with all the names, it seems to lag really bad. People have said that it lags during the replays. I haven't really noticed that either. But the lagging pre-snap, the pre-snap lagging, that's what I'm calling it. It gets me annoyed because the PlayStation Vita is a powerful handheld system and it should handle that. So I have to say that EA just threw in a port of Madden 12 and did what they could uh, to get it out as quick as possible. Hopefully that's fixed on the full retail version. I know some people who have it now they're doing reviews. Uh, I would like to find out for myself from them if that's happening. And you can see that the gameplay is pretty smooth. It's fluid. It feels right. The controls, the dual analog sticks, they work. That's all I got to say about that. They work. Gets a little getting used to when you're using the face buttons. But everything works. Everything feels familiar. With the exception of the touchscreens. Uh, the touchscreen controls that you can utilize. And here we have the New York Giants, third and nine. That looks like a nine. And if you hit the right shoulder button, you can see your wide receiver routes. And here, Hakeem Nix catches a long pass from Eli Manning, which is something they did on, a, on the regular in the playoffs. The one thing that definitely reminded me uh, of, well, no, that's Victor Cruz. Sorry about that. One thing that reminded me of Madden 12 a lot was that particular play where the DB was in dumb, was in stupid mode. It didn't turn around. It didn't play the ball. On the home console version, they've done a great job with the defensive backs and the interaction between defensive backs and wide receiver. Especially when they're both fighting for the ball or searching for the ball, period. So I was expecting to see that for Madden 13 on the PlayStation Vita. Unfortunately, as I stated, we're getting a port of Madden 12. But that's not a bad thing at all. Because to have Madden 12 in the palm of your hands and play it at your leisure, that's great. I'm a big football fan. There goes my thumb trying to use the touchscreen features, but 
as I stated, I was still trying to learn it. I'd rather play the game itself instead of trying all these new little gadgets. I could live without that. And I'm happy that I don't have or we don't have to use these touch screens, touch screen features in order to play Madden 13 on the PlayStation Vita. Marcellus Bennett, he's a big addition to the New York Giants, and he's going to be a huge weapon for Eli Manning. Here we got a goal line situation. I'm going to get a, going to give the ball to Brad, uh, Bradshaw, and he scores. Now the physics engine on the home console version, you would have seen Ahmed Bradshaw or Ahmad Bradshaw, uh, either Dragon. The blockers with him he didn't score here but just the physics engine i believe it's the legacy engine or something like that that they're using for madden 13 on the home consoles is pretty impressive kind of reminds me of backbreaker a little bit uh on the xbox 360 it's a little overdone on the playstation 3 i haven't seen the same <laughs> crazy ragdoll ragdoll physics that i saw on the xbox 360 version it just could, it could just be a coincidence. Now you notice the kicking meter, the power meter when you're kicking the ball either on a field goal or on a kickoff. Notice how it lags and that's annoying as shit because I always kick the ball short because of that lag. Take a look. You see that lag? That's pretty annoying if you ask me and I'm sure you'll find it quite annoying as well but you can see the gameplay is pretty fluid if you're a big Madden player this seems very familiar to you and I'm telling you it's Madden 12 with new uniforms hopefully EA added all of the franchise features everything else that you will see in the home console versions I'm okay with having Madden 12 visuals or character models that's okay with me. I wasn't too disappointed with that last year. Or this year, whatever. But having that on a handheld, that's pretty damn impressive. Now one thing I, I always had issues with was the interaction between offense and defensive line. I truly loved the way NFL 2K5 handled that. Granted, NFL 2K5 had the suction blocking but as you can see here i'm using jason pierre paul aka jpp and the interaction between jpp and the offensive tackle is the same freaking thing that i've been playing for the last four years you got to use your right analog stick uh, you you move it from side to side to perform some freaking type of finesse move that is very limited to like two moves or you do a spin move or you try a power move jpp in this year's madden madden 13 his attributes uh he's i believe a 99 and in, in, or 97 in finesse moves but he's also in the 80s for power so there's no reason why he can't beat this offensive tackle with some of the moves that I'm limited to. I really wish EA would give the freaking defensive lineman some more moves, AKA NFL 2K5, where you did, the, you did the club move, the swim move, bull rush. I mean, everything looked great, but I don't want to make this an NFL 2K5 versus Madden discussion. And just like Madden 12, punt returning and kick returning it's hit or miss the blockers really don't do a good job and you saw that right now where Jernigan really had no freaking way to run and just like the home console versions if you hold down the right shoulder button you can see your receiver your receivers routes and here Nix catches a nice pass over the middle I'm not sure what uh, what level I'm playing against I'm gonna do a Hail Mary here and I'm only playing a half I just wanted to give some impressions of the demo 
and let some of you see it that might not have seen it. I'm really impressed. I can't wait to, to buy this because I love sports. I have MLB to show and now I'm going to have me some football on the go so I could play it at home and I could play it on my PS Vita. This does not have the crossplay. I can't save what I have on the Vita into a cloud and play it on the home console. It's not like that. MLB does have it, but that's a first party title. So unfortunately, not every sports game is going to have that feature unless it's a first party title. So just be aware of that. Am I disappointed in that? No, because it's, it's to be expected. So let's see if I go to Cruz, who's on the left. Let's see what happens here. And I get intercepted. <laughs> At least the defensive back played that somewhat realistically. I tell you what, on the home console, the interaction between defensive back and wide receiver when the ball is in the air is really impressive. The physics engine on the home console didn't make it on the PlayStation Vita version. Um, I would have loved to have seen that maybe next year. It seems like EA just threw in Madden 12, uh, did a little, uh, put a little facelift on it and threw it out there for us. But nonetheless, I don't care because I got me football on the go, as I stated. And for you Madden fans and if who happen to own a PlayStation Vita, I highly recommend that, I mean, chances are you already downloaded the demo. But if you have not, download it. It's really good. The only thing, two minutes. I, I hate that. But, hey, look look at the visuals. If I tell you this was a, a home console version, you might believe it. But look at them da damn ear pads, man. What the fuck? Anyway, guys, thank you for viewing my video. Until next time, I am JVB. Take care.